people nowadays often spay and neuter their animals, right? You don't have unwanted pregnancy, <laughs> right? So even though I do enjoy a good, uh, a good amount of fox offspring and, you know, want to have more dodos and everything, animal, I do not want animal to have babies. No babies for animal. Animal will, like, rip their heads off or something. So, but before you do that, nowadays it's recommended that you wait until animals go through their first happy time. Happy? No, they actually get kind of grumpy and really irritated. Once or twice is what's recommended. But after the first time, I said, okay, that's good enough. And what happened during that first time is Animal became kind of a b She was not very, uh, nice for a good bit. Um, she was a bit messy. It was kind of gross. And she, uh, she, she, she started liking my plushies in different ways than before. Before, she just wanted to rip them apart. But during this period, she uh, she wanted to uh, still rip them apart, but do a bit more too. I thought after Animal got her insides removed, that she would stop doing that. That she <laughs> that she she'd stop this behavior, this out of line behavior. Not under my roof, young Animal. Um, but <laughs> she hasn't. Well, here's the thing. She used to, like, try doing it with everything. But now, she just has a few favorites. And one of the... Anyways, how did I get here? The plushie... The plushie that I had next to me earlier today is no longer here because the animal decided to, um... Be an animal and take it. Oh, wait. Where is it? Oh, it's behind me. Never mind. It's actually still in here, but it's behind me now. Oh, gosh. Oh, she left it in such a state. 